First, we need to define what an instinctive judgment is and what qualifies as one. An instinct, according to Merriam-Webster, is a largely inheritable and unalterable tendency of an organism to make a complex and specific response to environmental stimuli without involving reason. Now, at a more human level, it is a behavior that is mediated by reactions below the conscious level. In summary, an instinct is a behavior or action that one performs subconsciously. This could, for example, be a reflex, which is an unconscious and involuntary reaction one takes to a certain stimuli or situation. An example of this is the fight, flight, or freeze response. Now, how do these reflexes become an instinctive judgment? Well, it is believed that a person's instinct or gut feeling gets stronger as a person gets older and acquires more experience. Therefore, an instinctive judgment is that gut feeling that a person takes or acts upon as a result of a specific stimuli. Now, there are times when we make instinctive judgments and we don't realize the effect they can have on our actions and outlook. In turn, we react without taking into consideration the context or specifications of certain situations, meaning sometimes these judgments can be positive or negative. This is why we use our ways of knowing to check or advise our actions and thoughts. These ways of knowing can either affirm and support our instinctive judgment, or they can challenge and reshape it. Now I'm going to discuss examples where our instinctive judgment, um, where our ways of knowing revise and reshape our instinctive judgment. A relatable situation would be, for example, when a parent is stopped at a light with his or her child in the car, and there, is a homeless, and there are homeless people in the light asking for money. In most cases, the parent's immediate response is to lock the doors and not look the person in the eye. Most people adopt this reaction towards homeless people because they are labeled and stigmatized as drug addicts and generally not safe. However, when one's emotion kicks in, empathy might take over and the person driving might be compassionate and give the person some food, money, water, whatever they have at hand. In addition, when you begin to employ reason, you begin to realize that homeless people are just the same as you, but they don't have the financial resources to live in a home. For whatever reason it may be, they lost their money and couldn't afford to live in a house, which is why they ended up living on the street. And people should be compassionate towards homeless people, not, con not condescending or insensitive. This is when emotion can also reshape or, or redefine your instinctive judgment, along with reason. Because these people don't plan and dream to become homeless. They end up homeless because of situations that we aren't aware of. And we should be compassionate and sympathize towards these people, with these people, and not let our instinctive judgment get the best of us and let us end up not helping them. Personally, uh, an experience I had concerning my instinctive judgment was when I was younger. Um, and here, my instinctive judgment was because of lack of um, lack of knowing. I, I, I was very young and naive and I didn't really know much about the world, so this is why I took this certain outlook on the situation. When I was younger, I had a situation where I used a way of knowing in order to reshape and redefine my instinctive judgment. I was at the beach with my family, and there was another family there, as there are always people at the beach enjoying it, having fun. Um, going to a private school, I hadn't really had much experience with diversity, meaning most of the people that were in my grade were white, and most of my friends were white. I never believed that I was racist and never thought badly about other races and ethnicities um, and I never believed that I had a prejudice against other people because of their race but being a private but being a young kid at a private school I heard the word cafe a lot and would relate would relate it to loud and black Puerto Ricans um, being a young girl that didn't know much so that day that I was at the beach with the other family was black and I automatically thought less of them and also the children were having fun and laughing and playing music and I remember thinking wow these people are really loud and I remember putting on a face of somewhat disgust and this was my instinctive judgment to label these people as gafres because they were loud and black and I remember automatically thinking that I didn't want to be near them I told it to my mother I told my mother these people are so loud they're gafres and she said Isabella that is very wrong what you're thinking those people are just a family having fun, and they're playing music because they're at the beach, and that is what people do at the beach. That doesn't mean that they're cafre, and you shouldn't be thinking that they are less than you. My mother used reason, reason to make me realize that my instinctive judgment of these people was not okay. With reason, I was able to reshape my idea of the other family that was there, and I began to change, and it began, began to change my whole perspective on how I looked at others and 
made assumptions about others. This made me realize that you need to think before you make decisions and assumptions about people, situations, areas, regions, which is the same situation with the homeless people. You need to think and employ these ways of knowing before you take action or or think about certain certain situations. You need to think about the context, what's affecting that situation, what's happening in the world right now, what's what's causing that situation. You need to really think before you act upon any situation and that's why ways of knowing I do believe that they are a check on our instinctive judgments to a certain extent some reshape more than aid such as reason um, and some aid such as emotion and faith but as I've just said here uh, ways of knowing are a very good are a very good check on our instinctive judgments and I do agree with that statement